RMJ movie reviews back again. Well, with an on the fly movie review of Alien Romulus. Man, oh man, Alien Romulus was, um, man, I really enjoyed the film. I really enjoyed the film a lot. Um, you know, I'm a long time Alien fan. I grew up with all the movies. Um, you know, um, and I love uh, Freddie Alvarez. Freddie Alvarez, who did uh, Don't Breathe, and uh, he did uh, the Evil Dead remake, both of which I really enjoy and I love a lot. And he's a he's a pretty he, he's his movies are very um, kind of I like the way they're just very tight in the way scares are laid out and the way the characters are laid out. It, it really leaves you room to breathe, and then he kind of just starts to slowly do this, you know. And he does that same style with Alien Romulus. Now I've heard a lot of people say that this is like a mashup of Alien and Aliens. Uh, I would say that's very true, but I would also say it sprinkles in, uh, you know, um, you know, elements from some of the other films too. And I'll just leave it at that because I don't want to give anything away. But I really enjoyed the film. Um, now, here's the thing. I would compare Alien Romulus more to like... Because people want to know the hardcore Alien fans. I'm not talking about the newbies who are just coming in. or um, Basically, I'm not talking about anybody that's under the age of 40. You know, who, or, or maybe somebody, I have even go, maybe, maybe 35 and back. Maybe, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about people who've grown up with them for years. This is kind of like a reboot that's for us, the older fans who've been watching these movies for years. And also, it's like, an update for the new kids coming in, you know, and I think it has that that very good balance between the two and giving something to the older fans and shepherding in maybe some new kids to go back and watch the old films. Now, that being said, uh, this is very similar to like Top Gun Maverick or um, uh, The Force Awakens, you know, Star Wars, The Force Awakens, you know, uh, films that basically they take those older ones from the past and they basically update them and they do them in very well done ways. So at least for me as an old time alien fan, this movie does exactly what you expect it to do, but it does it in a way that's fun and enjoyable. So um, now I've also heard people talk about uh, the, how the third act kind of is going to divide a lot of people. Um, for me, uh, I guess I'm a little bit kind of surprised because I don't really know why everybody is so divisive because what it does, um, I can't say anything. I can't say anything, but what it does, um, was not too far off of, of, uh, an alien movie. <laughs> I mean, really it wasn't like for me. And, and here's the other thing too. I knew exactly where this movie was going most of the time. Didn't bother me. It was just fun. I saw the picture in IMAX too, so which I I, I think I've only been to one IMAX show. I think that was Top Gun Maverick, or and it was Mission Impossible Fallout. But it was really cool. There was a lot of shots where like there you no know, zero gravity, so people were floating in the camera, and it felt like one of those rides like at Disney World or something. Where I was like, like you guys ever been that, that ride at Disney World or Universal where you go through the tunnel? And the tunnel starts, one thing goes this way and the other one goes that way. And you start, that. that's how I felt like on those gravity scenes. I was like, oh, there was one part where it kept going like this. And I was like, oh, wait a minute, oh. So, <laughs> so that was all cool. But that being said, it, it it goes exactly where you expect it to go. And it does it well. Um, was it hyper gory and all that? No, it was actually less gory. Uh, I thought it was actually going to be way more graphic than what it was, but I was fine with what they did. And it's it's uh, gross and it's disgusting. Now, is it is it is it as disgusting as um, kind of like the third act reveal and don't breathe? It, no, it's it's it. Retract that statement. It is along that grossness, but it, it's along the lines of that grossness. But it, it doesn't it. it <sighs> It doesn't quite go that far, but it's kind of in that wheelhouse, kind of, sort of. <laughs> That's all I say. Um, but it was very well done. Does everything we expected to do, and it does it. It does it well done. I would say that um, this is the third best Alien film. So I, I would say that you could probably 
erase Alien 3 and you could just put Romulus right behind Aliens. That's the perfect trilogy right there. Yeah, I think everything else you could watch for the heck of it. Now, is this better than Alien Covenant and Prometheus? Absolutely. Absolutely. The only thing that I will say Prometheus has on these last three movies is just visually Prometheus is 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 just stupid to look at. I mean, that movie is just, you know, uh, Ridley Scott's eye is just, uh, you know, you can't beat it. Um, so um, this does feel like the world of the original and it feels like the world of the second one. I would even say it feels like the world of even the third film. So it definitely feels like an alien film does exactly what you expect it to do so anyway y'all that's my review of uh alien romulus and uh i'll be back with you lovely folks soon